Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Hey, this is Neon and I'm really super excited. We found the new Hasbro classic Ghostbusters action figures and the new Ecto-1 from Afterlife. And these are awesome. They look like the original Ghostbusters, but done in a, a cartoon style. Kind of like if you took the real Ghostbusters tenors, uh, real Ghostbusters toys and, and you know, made them look like the movie characters, the movie version of the Ghostbusters, this is what you would get. Same points of articulation and uh, some really fun ghosts. And we're gonna open these up. I found them at Walmart yesterday for $10, $10 each for these figures. And the Ecto-1 was like 25 bucks. So we're gonna open this stuff up. We're gonna take a look at it, uh, see what all the fuss is about. And hopefully, you know, hopefully Ghostbusters Afterlife is good. If not, we got some pretty cool toys, I think. Now, please subscribe to this channel. This is the channel where we're going to move all of our fun stuff. We're not going to talk about pop culture or politics or any of that stuff over here. We're going to do reviews. We're going to do gaming videos. We're going to do art over here. Uh, this is going to be kind of the fun side of Clownfish. So make sure you're subscribed. We definitely want to grow this channel. So before we unbox these figures, let's check out the packaging. Uh, I really like it. Got like a cartoon version of uh, Bill Murray here. We got Peter Venkman. 1984 classic Ghostbusters. Check it out. Ghost fright feature. So the so the ghosts are gonna have the fright features now. All right. Let's check out Winston. But Slime, God, Slimer, what the frick? What'd they do to poor Slimer? We got Winston Zedmore, there's his art. Now, Winston was actually my very first real Ghostbusters action figure. Back in the 80s, I, I got Winston first. And I was always confused why they never looked like the movie. I didn't find out until years later, it was like a, a licensing issue, rights issue. They couldn't make them look like the, the movie versions of the actors. We got Ray, and whatever this is. Is that Slimer, kind of? I don't know. Surprise Spectral. Spectral. Surprise. All right. And then we got Egon, the late great Harold Ramis. Um, with, uh, okay. I'm not sure what we're looking at here, but there we go. Fright feature. Egon, okay, let's take a look at the uh, packaging for the Ecto-1. Again, this, all of this feels like a throwback to the 1980s. These feel like real Ghostbusters toys, which they've, they've reissued uh, under the Kenner brand. But this does feel like a throwback. Now they're gonna have uh, the four new Ghostbusters from Afterlife eventually. They're not in this wave, I don't think. I only saw the original characters. Gunner seat, of course. Um, yeah, this feels, I mean, this is Hasbro, but this feels like something you definitely would have seen in the 1980s. And the price points are, you know, pretty much 1980s too. Again, the Ecto-1, I think it was like 25 bucks, 26 bucks or something like that. And the figures were $10 each. Like the Masters of the Universe, the new Masters of the Universe line, which we're reviewing in another video. Uh, yeah, I mean, $10 for an action figure in this day and age, especially with all these accessories. You know, they cut back on the articulation and we've gone old school, like, uh, you know, Kenner articulation. And, you know, you can keep the price point down and that's fine. The toys are meant to be played with. You know, we don't need ridiculously articulated characters. I actually don't like the new Star Wars toys because of all the articulation. Uh, I like the old Kenner style figures, like Super 7 figures. So I'm cool with it. So we're going to bust these open and uh, see what we got and give you our thoughts. So I've gone ahead and unboxed the figures and uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. 
You know, they are. I mean, they feel very much like Ken or real Ghostbusters figures, and they're very good likenesses of the actors, uh, for sure. And the, the ghosts are pretty fun. Like, let's check out the terror dogs. See? Nice little action, nice little action feature. Uh, they each come with a, a ghost, which you know, is a nice little bonus. And they do more than the ghost in the original. The original real Ghostbusters toys, the, the ghosts were just like clear plastic things. <laughs> you know, they didn't really do much. Now, uh, the one huge advantage that the, the original real Ghostbusters toys had over these guys is their proton packs. Their proton packs actually worked. Uh, I'm going to be honest. You know, as cool as these figures are, the proton packs are very, very lackluster. There's no action feature with them. It's all one chunk of plastic. But uh, let's check out more of these ghosts. This is Egon's ghost. That's like a little cherubby thing here. Okay. Of course, we got Slimer. Comes with Winston. Slimer is uh, definitely the best, I think, of the bunch. But uh, this is horrifying, I gotta tell you, especially if you're a Slimer fan, uh, to watch him do this. It's pretty awful. Like his freaking head splits open and his tongue is just like, and you can see the inside of his, his head. That's freaking morbid, man. That's gross. But he's actually got, you know, posable arms and stuff too. Um, you know, the other ghosts really don't. But uh, yeah, they put some effort in the poor old Slimer. Of course they did, because he's... He's merchandisable, and this is a Ray's ghost here. And this one, um, well, this looks like something. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Anyway, this is, this is Ray's ghost, uh, but they're they're pretty cool. You know, they are. But again, the you know the proton packs, uh, not great. Kind of short. Looks like a, a gas pump handle kind of, uh, you know, but it's all, it's all one piece of plastic. And I'm going to take this off of Winston here. And you can see, I mean, the, you know, the articulation exactly the same as the original real Ghostbusters, you know, very classic Kenner, just the uh, arms and legs move, waist doesn't turn or anything, but you know, there's some nice details. You know, we've got the Ghostbusters insignia, the name badges, you know, and again, this, this is definitely Ernie Hudson. You know, it looks very much like Ernie Hudson. So, you know, we'll take a look at the other guys here. I got Venkman. We got Ray. Uh, of course, you know, Egon. And uh, yeah, they do look very much like their, their uh, actors, uh, for sure. Oh, sorry about that. So let's open up the Ecto-1. Uh, just pull it out here. It's... This feels very Kenner. This feels very, very Kenner. Oh, look, you have to put it together, just like just like in the olden days. Uh, so we have an instruction sheet. We've got, um, what do we got here? Different parts, and yeah, so it's a little bit of a project. So this is what we're looking at. I hope you like to put things together. I don't think it's gonna to be too hard, but this is very much like, you know, Kenner and Hasbro toys from the 1980s and early 90s. Uh, you're gonna to have to put it together yourself, especially for $25. They're not gonna to put it together for you for 25 bucks. So here we go. So we finally got the Ecto-1 together. Look at that, I can still do it. Uh, this, this is very much a throwback to toys from the 80s where you had to put everything together and it had lots of stickers and uh, yeah. So I, it took me about 20 minutes, half an hour to put this together. A lot of stickers on this. Now this is, um, it's a very basic vehicle, okay? It's built well, it's definitely built for play, but it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles. Obviously no electronics or anything like that. All the lights are stickers. Um, but for the price point, for the $25 price point, or $26 or whatever it was, it's it's not bad. I mean, it really isn't, it isn't bad. It's a pretty fair representation uh, of the Ecto-1. We got Winston in here driving. And uh, now here's the, here's the uh, gunner seat. And it's a little difficult. You have to open the door here and I got Ray. And uh, it swings out like that. So it doesn't, it doesn't pop out or anything. And actually you gotta take this cannon off the top and uh, attach it to the side. That's that's how you do this. Now, I don't know if they're gonna have a, a better 
uh, version of the Ecto-1 you know, for adult collectors. But, uh, you know, this is definitely, there you go, it just pops out, uh, definitely a kid-friendly toy. I mean, this is something that, you know, it, it, I, I could see it getting a lot of uh, play if your kids are into Ghostbusters. Um, again, it's, you know, $25. doesn't have a lot that can break. I mean, the plastic's pretty durable. Uh, this feels, this whole line feels like they're trying to throw back to the 1980s. Like, everything about it feels uh, very 80s. You can see, and of course, you got the Ecto-1 plate. Uh, everything stickers, the windshield stickers. Now, this is kind of cool. This has got the little uh, drone trap in there. Oh, no, I forgot to put it in. Now, this is pretty cool. Uh, this opens up and a little trap comes out. I guess that's in the movie, a little drone trap. Uh, pretty pretty cool. Again, you know, 25 bucks. Not gonna, not gonna knock it. Uh, I don't think, well, oh, oh God, we took out Egon. No! Uh, I don't think that, you know, adult collectors are really going to be into this one so much. Um, but if you've got kids that are in the Ghostbusters and you want a durable toy, this is definitely it. In fact, this whole line is is pretty durable. It feels very kid-friendly compared to, you know, previous uh, Ghostbusters lines. So uh, there it is, guys. There's, you know, my review of the new Ghostbusters toys, 1984 classic characters. Uh, I think it's worth it. I mean, 25 bucks, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, well, you can pick pick all these up for like $65, $70, the whole thing. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, in this, today's market, that's it's really not bad. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe to the channel for more reviews, uh, more gaming videos, more art videos. Uh, this is where we want to have fun. Talk to you later.